You're going to love this. Trust me. What's up, Dragon Ball Junkies? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh bringing you another video from the Core TCG webcam regionals that I played in recently using Meki Kabora. Today I got a Hatchiak match for you from round three. It was a cool match and uh, I think we're doing well, but you'll see how it ended in this video. Check it out. We are recording. Let's find our pairings. Round three just started. All right. Thomas Denardi to 32. Wait for our opponent. Mega Kabora. Can't barely see my leader. All right. Oh, Hatch. <laughs> hatch, I can only swing once with battle cards or something. Per turn. Uh, hi. Twelve. Oh, baby. Uh oh, I don't know, man. He might be helping you out. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Voiceover Josh, back again. I'm gonna give you the play-by-play -play of this Meki Kabora vs. Hatchiak match. This was a. An interesting game. The guy's got his, his little baby in his lap. And uh, the little guy is nice and happy at first. He starts to get a little grumpy as we move through the game. But anyway, my turn one, I get my toe out. And that's all I can do because I went first. He gets a Kai out, which is a blocker. Let's him draw a card, a little cantrip action for one. He's playing Hatchiak, so I can only attack once per turn with battle cards seven cost or higher so I'm just thinking of how I'm gonna play that my my Meki Kabora is an eight drop so he gets around that my leader has triple attack when I do my ultimate which also gets around his hatch so I'm feeling pretty confident about this this match so I charge for turn two I do my balls I get my balls with my leader swing no balls in life luckily and I'm counting my balls. I, I tap one to play a Meki Kabura. He lets me draw a card. He also lets me play a Toa or a Salsa if I pay one energy and search it. I'm going to play one more energy for my Salsa. Let me get some more balls. And I'm going to swing. So I'm warping his cards. I'm drawing card off Salsa. I got my blocker on the field. We're looking good right here. We're looking good. He combos out a Foo Shrouded in Mystery. That that card could be scary if he got to turn six. All right. He doesn't do much with his turn. Passes back to me for my turn three. I'm going to charge a Poutine. And I'm going to swing with my Salsa just to get some card draw going. And he, take, he does... I can't remember if he took that. I missed it. Now... We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to tap two. I still haven't awakened yet. I tap two to play my Toa Unison. And I go ahead and, and warp a card. Now, I think I just warped a card there without pitching one from my hand. This is a mistake that I made uh, a good bit throughout the tournament. So I want to apologize for that. I'm not a pro, guys. I, I mess up a lot. I'm never doing it maliciously. I'm just doing it because I, I'm just not a pro. I'm not... You know, I'm still learning all these. All of this is a learning experience, but I did not pitch a card when I warped his uh, his Kai with my Toa. So I'm doing my ball stuff. And I'm gonna awaken, get an energy back. Now, unfortunately, his hand is getting very fat. His hand gets really big in this game. And it's a problem. It's something I, I'm thinking about, I'm worried about. But luckily, he can't attack either with battle cards that are seven or less once he attacks with one with his leader. He keeps getting up because he's got he's to gotta tend to his, his, his baby. And uh, the little guy's getting a little restless. But it was so funny. I had fun playing with him. He, he's a cool guy. 
Anyway, C has got a fat hand. He plays out another Kai, draws a card. So he's got blockers on field. He's got draw power. Look how fat his hand is. So I draw one, but I got a decent size hand. I got a decent size hand. So we're at four energy. And we're going to go ahead and plus our Toa, get rid of a card. Again, I forgot to pitch. Epic mistake. I'm sorry. Sorry. Don't grill me too hard in the comments. I see it now, and, I, and I've learned from it. Swing him with the Toa. He negates. He's down to four life. I still have quite a few life left because he's not going very aggressive against me yet. And I swing with my leader. Now, on the next turn, I make a really big mistake. I played my King Vegeta, which is good. I get to get rid of a card from his hand. Look how big his hand is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look like he had 13 or 14 cards before I pitched the Power Burst from his hand. I couldn't swing with the Vegeta, though. I just wanted to get him out to take a card. And so next turn, I have a a good double strike on board. So it looks like it's his turn. Again, he doesn't do much. He, he just can't do much yet. Maybe he's not seeing his hatchy axe, or I don't know. But now we're developing a nice board. We're going to swing with our Toa. See, I think I just stole another card from him. And uh, didn't pitch for it. So I play my Toa out, my blocker. He gets his black blocker out because I removed a black card from his field. I swing with my King Vegeta, so next time he has to kill that before he can start going in on my leader unless he wants to pitch a lot of cards. Now this is where I screw up epically. So he didn't do anything again that turn. I pitch a card for my leader. I use my leader's ability and pitch my balls. Then I tap five. I play Shenron the Wish Granter. And now I realize my fatal mistake in sequencing. I needed to play the Shenron first to have Sparking Seven in order to give my leader triple attack or triple strike and then use my leader's ability. But since I used my leader first, I couldn't use Shenron's ability. I couldn't draw cards. I couldn't do anything. But I get three attacks here. We're threatening his life. We're drawing cards. So we are still applying pressure. You know, even though I didn't get the triple strike, triple attack, which would have likely killed him that turn, I, uh, you know, I got a lot of cards out of it. Now, we're about to come up on his last turn. He gets his hatch boys out, and he gets his big hatches out. And he begins to swing at my leader. He doesn't have them out yet. He will in a second. But he just swung, he comboed some cards. And the problem is, as he plays out cards, as he combos cards, I'm just snap taking life. I have like seven life, so I'm just taking it, taking it, taking it. He's going to build my hand up while lowering his hand. And now he gets his Hatchiak out. His first Hatchiak, which is a dual attack, I think. Or maybe a double strike. I can't heroin's. I have heroin's lineage in my hand, but I don't have energy, and I can't heroin's lineage that anyway because it's counted as an eight drop once it hits the field. So he swings again. He's comboing stuff, and I'm just taking it. I'm I'm not trying to combo out of any of this. I don't care if he gets me down to two. I'm gonna get five cards in my hand. So I'm taking it, taking it, taking it. He gets his other big boy out. He gets three swings with his big boy. Single strike. And it doesn't even make it back to my turn because leader, um, he kind of realizes that he no just doesn't negates. have enough to finish it. And I've built up too many cards in my hand. So even though he keeps swinging, he doesn't have enough to kill me. And you guys will see what happens right here. One second. Let me just organize my hand a bit. 40. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, swing number two. No negates. Just 30. 30. Take it. Uh, swing another 30. That's your third attack. No negates. Just 30. 
it's 30. Um, let me see. Do you have any more attacks that you can get in? You're, you're tapped out, right? I'm tapped out. And you have how many cards left in your hand? I'm gonna give you the one, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I won't. I won't, I won't pass that up. <laughs> but oh, okay. Well, we got a win. Yeah, he uh, he 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 was just gonna keep feeding me cards and losing his own cards. I totally screwed up. With this play, I, I've never played this card. I've tested with this card, one of, of this card in the deck, um, like two games. And I never used it. I've never even seen it. And so I finally see it. I know that he doesn't have any sort of counterplays in that black deck. Because black deck doesn't really have much counterplay action. So I knew this was good. And I was like, oh, this is going to be nice. But I, I missequenced it. I played... I, I used my leader's thing first and got rid of my balls, forgetting that this has sparking seven. And then when I played this, I couldn't even use this as ability. But what, what was supposed to happen is I play this for five when all my balls are still in the drop. I activate main or uh, I do his auto sparking seven, give my leader triple strike and 15K. Then I activate my leader's thing, get rid of the balls. Now my leader has triple attack, triple strike, and he's a 30K base and I draw every time I swing and his hatch yak doesn't stop my leader swings so I would have went triple strike triple strike triple strike 30k 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 draw 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 and uh at that point I don't know if I would have won the game that turn but I would have gained so much advantage and put so much pressure on him I was trying to get him down to three so that every one of those attacks is a is a life threatener and um I think he passed or I think he 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 dropped the game because he's got stuff to do with it with his kid and uh and i respect that a lot i respect dads so um and i think he knew that he couldn't kill me this turn he's gonna pass turn and he just spent a lot of his hand trying to kill me and he just gave me a fat hand so so the game kind of swung at that point to my favor because now his hand's low my hand's fat and i've got my unison i've got my leader not as impactful as if I did it how it's supposed to be done, but we got to win. Got to report it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Give that guy a big thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and report this, Matt. All right, guys, that was my victory against the Hatchiac player. Unfortunately, it was anticlimactic. He had to go. His, his, his baby was crying. And I, I think his, uh, his wife or girlfriend or whoever was getting a little upset with them so he had to go it was round three he was probably just sticking in so he could get his participation prizes and playing for a little while i respect that he's a dad he's still trying to you know have his fun but he wants to take care of his kid first so that's awesome props to him we got the win it was looking really good for us whether he quit or not i think he just wanted to go because it it, it was looking good for us. I think we had that game anyway. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think I should do better. Let me know what you think about the gameplay. And check out the videos that I got playing over here. And subscribe to the channel again, guys. Check me out on Twitch, Dragon Ball Junkie. Twitch TV slash Dragon Ball Junkie. It's your boy Josh. I'm out. Peace.